Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the theater at Frankfurt High School. At this time, we ask that you shut off all cell phones and electronic devices for they can interfere with the wireless equipment. Also, if you have any noisy or rowdy children throughout the show, please feel free to escort them out to the lobby until they settle down so not to interfere with the performers or the people sitting around you. Now, if at any time you look over and you see someone on their cell phone, please feel free to politely ask them to shut it off because it's rude. All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. So please now sit back, relax, and enjoy tonight's production of Leap of Faith. Years we've been walking your road, but it's been years, far too many for counting. With a lifetime of sin as all uh, that gets me every time I hear it. Now you may not know it, but there's a reason you came here tonight. You're at a crossroads in your life. I know. Because I myself stood at just the Rubicon. In fact, we all did. And it all started with this man. Good evening, non believers, hopefuls, and lost souls. Prepare to be found. Thank you for joining us on this, our revival's third and final glorious night. I am the Reverend Jonas Nightingale. Now, I won't lie to you, but some of the angels in my own choir warned me that this town is too impatient for a revival. So I turned to them and I said, if you want to save souls, you got to go where the sinners are. And here we are. You, sir, you're a sinner. Ma'am, you're sin on a stick. And you, oh, buddy, you, you're wondering if you can leave an intermission and commit even more sin. You're all sinners, each and every one of you, but you can be saved. Tell me, what do you do when the world's a mess and your life's in flux as the economy sucks and you're stuck way down in the depths of despair? Rise up. And what do you do when you're feeling the stress and you've run out of hope and you just can't cope when you're pretty damn sure that you ain't got a prayer? Rise up. See, the worse your troubles get, the deeper you feel you're sinking. Now I don't blame you for lacking hope, but if you want to believe, and I believe you do, then take your hands off your neighbor's lap and lift them high, cause we're gonna make a joyful noise. Singing that'll make the rafters rock, stories that'll make your soul unlock. Even if you think it's all a crock, you'll rise up, you doubting Thomas. That'll wipe away your blues, reaching to find you can't refuse. Even though you all have opposing views, you'll rise up, rise up. And give unto the Lord. Hey, he's something. Now, my testimony tonight, it isn't pretty. It's a story of a lost soul dragging and kicking and screaming his way to redemption. Now, for some of you, this is a story of chance, a coincidence. But for me and the people on this stage here tonight, this is a story of faith. And every word of it is true. I'm going to take you back one year ago, right where the highway to nowhere hits the road of perdition, about 100 miles south of Topeka. Carl, what's the verdict? Thermostat shot, transmission is not far behind. Damn, can you get us to Topeka? <laughs> not a prayer. Local mechanic said he can get the pots, but it's gonna take a couple days. Jonas, the angels wanna go on track. Well, we've been paid in two months. What'd you expect? Item A, we can't just write him a check? Yeah, right, and watch it bounce across three state lines. Okay. I keep telling you, we're broke. Okay, I get it, let me think. Sam. Oh, Sam. You called, oh, brother of mine. Sam, we have hit a hole <laughs> in the road. 
a hole. You mean that cliff staring us in the face? Okay, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Let me think. Let me think. So the bus is broken down. We don't need it. Zach, where are we now? Just outside Sweetwater. Sweetwater. In Sweetwater is where we're going to pitch our tent. What? Sam, talk him down. Jonas, look around. These people got nothing. Exactly. Fellas who've been laid off at the plants. Farmers who have lost their federal grants. All of them are desperate for a chance to rise up. Rev, we need a big score. There's nothing here but dust. That's why it's perfect. Men who got no way to pay the rent. Wives who wonder where their savings went. Watch them offer up their last red cent to rise up. Jonas, it's a dying town in the middle of a drought. I got this. Look, these folks are stone cold out of luck. You know what they're hoping? If they maybe throw the Lord a buck, he'll come and save their shirts. <laughs> They be driving in from miles around with hearts and wallets open. We'll make those suckers rise up. They'll give until it hurts. Anyone got a better idea? See, Zach, unload the bus, Sam, set up the tent, and start spreading the word. Tell them he can set their children's children. children. Tell them he can help keep off the weight. Help. Tell them that tonight right here it ain't their right. You tell them anything they need to hear to rise up, rise up, and then we'll bleed them dry. If they got cold cash to pay to ya. Rise up. Wait a minute. If you wanna rise up, you have got to go higher. Higher. Save some broke down souls. Nice going with the angels. <laughs> really got them back on board. It wasn't hard. We own so much money, they don't really have a choice. Jonas, are you sure about this? Just you wait. Our biggest score yet. No. I mean all of this. It's been 10 years, two towns a week, 60 weeks a year, and we're farther behind than when we started. We got more buses. <laughs> that keep breaking down. We need a relaunch. Go first class. Don't start this again. Oh, come on, just think about it. Bigger houses, churches, and theaters, mm, with padded seats. Mm, padded seats. Mm -hmm. We could do a little pre-show. Everybody loves waving to the camera. Maybe broadcast live on cable? Cable? My face on TV? That's a bad idea. America is a very forgiving country, Jonas. I don't need forgiveness. I've done nothing wrong. Sorry I brought it up. Sam, come on. Compared to what we've been through, this is just a bump in the road. Tell me, what did we do coming out of the sticks with no folks, no dough, a whole world no, just two scared kids trying to make ends meet? Rise up. And what did we do in the spring of 06 when they tossed me in jail and we couldn't make bail? So you lived in the car till I was back on the street. Good times. If there's one damn thing I know for sure, we gotta keep on moving. This town, it's a convenience store. Breeze in, stock up and go. All we need is just one major score. Things will start improving. Trust me, Sam, we'll rise up. And what if we don't? 
Sure, it's looking bad. What else is new? What's the plan? Not a clue. <laughs> we'll pull through somehow. We always do. Gotta take a leap of faith. A big one. You'll see. This town, rust water. No water. Hallelujah. I feel miracles coming on. Mazel tov. Wow, is there a circus coming to town? Better than that. Oh, hey there. You show people? Oh, God, no. We're here for a revival. A revival? In Sweetwater? This must be my lucky day. Then that's two of us. Marla McGowan, and you must be Jonas. Jonas Nightingale, here to spread the word of the Lord. <clears throat> and Marla, this is my sister, Sam. My pleasure. We'll see. <clears throat> How long y'all fixing on staying? Three days is all we can spare. Three days? We're a little ways off the beaten path. What made y'all think of stopping here? The Lord. The Lord told me that Sweetwater was in desperate need of rain. But before the rains can come, Sweetwater needs to be healed. God bless you. And he told me that I could count on you. Me? Yes, Marla. He said that we could perform miracles together. You feeling that, Marla? Oh, I'm feeling something. Out here in the country, we're simple-hearted hicks, all moony-eyed and innocent as fluffy little chicks. But though we ain't so worldly, hell, most are dumb as rocks. We know that where there's chickens, there's bound to be a fox. You got me wrong, sister. Do I? Now me, I'm just a farm girl, I barely left the nest. The city lights, the great wide world, I ain't seen them, I'll attest. But I've seen lots of foxes, enough to write a book. And mister, I'm quite certain that I recognize your look. You're a fox in the hen house, as clear as clear can be. The twinkling eyes, the devilish grin, the flashing filigree. But though you're quick and cunning, mister, I can guarantee a fox like you don't fool a chick like me. You got all that on your first read? Just by looking at the cover. But you still want to thumb the pages, don't you? Mm -hmm. Now foxes, they look dashing. Oh, yeah. And foxes, they talk sweet. Uh-huh, but foxes, they get hungry. And chickens, what they eat. That's right. Well, I may look like dinner, uh -huh. but me, I'm no one stoop. And I know what you're doing, creeping around this chicken coop. Now, a fox like you, you're thinking that chasing these chickens might be fun. Yeah, a fox like me, I'm thinking about plucking them feathers one by one. Thinking about sinking your teeth right in. And the juice is running all down my chin. Bet you didn't think you were talking to the county sheriff. County sheriff? You? Mm-hmm. Y'all have a permit? You don't need a permit to pray. No, but you do need one if you're pitching a tent, <laughs> canopy, or a membrane structure for public assembly. Are you the sheriff or the zoning board? Both. Mm -hmm. And town alder person. Budget cuts. With the drought, <laughs> seawater's barely hanging on. I can feel your town's pain, Marla. Then how about giving us a break? Look, we've had our fun, so I'm gonna ask nicely. Get your butts back on that bus and drive on by. You see, the only thing is our bus is broken down. Local repairman said it could take up to three days to get the parts. Three days? We are at your mercy, Sheriff. Yes, you are. So here's the deal. This flock of mine is suffering. They're reeling from the drought. They want someone to save them. That's why I want you out. Three days, fine, that I'll give you. Then go, go somewhere far. Cause me, I ain't no chicken. And I know damn well what you are. You're a fox in the hen house. A crooked SOB. A traveling con who'd better move on and leave my people be. Don't mess with this here hen house. You'll regret it, watch and see. A fox like you don't fool a chick like me. Three days, Mr. Nightingale, and the gloves come off. It's not bad for an alderman. That sheriff is trouble. We can't afford another cease and desist. That 
And that's just her idea of foreplay. <laughs> See, no guarantee she gives us whatever permits we need. All right, you're on. And so are we angels. The tent stays up. You know the drill. Three nights in Sweetwater. Go forth and advertise. So here's how it works. When you hit a new town, it doesn't matter if it's Sweetwater, Topeka, or hell, even New York. You got three days till the blow off. The closing night when you take the town for all it's worth and leave before they know what hit them. Of course, you gotta do your due diligence. Facebook's fine, but there's still no substitute for good old shoe leather. Let's go to work. All right, eyes and ears open, people. Hit the barber shop and the Circle K. Let's go to work. Straw hat, alcoholic. All right. All right, copy that. Let's go to work. Honey, the doctor said to take your meds. It's not the pump, it's the whale. We've come dry. Let's go to work. I've been tossing and turning all night. I think my wife's caught on to us. Town's rolling up your sleeves now. Harvest time is here, no laying about. Go and gather up the sheaves now. Working in the fields of the Lord. Faith is rising tall as we there. All you gotta do is winnow it out. Every grain you get is sweet there. Working in the fields of the Lord. So to work. Hey guys, grab that old lady. Evening, ma'am. Are you from Sweetwater? No, drove 30 miles. How fast night? How would you like to sit in the front row? Oh, I don't need a wheelchair. I think you do, ma'am. Uh, well, thank you. Souls are rolling on the vine there, ready to be plucked and harvested up. Ain't they looking fat and fine there? Working in the fields of the Lord. When they're wrapping up, do a drop there. Shake them down and fill that heavenly cup. Soon you'll have a bumper crop there. Working in the fields of the Lord. Call me Jonas, son. I had a dream you were coming. Did you? God bless you. Can I come to your revival? Of course you can. Let's bring the folks. Let's go to work. It's just my mom, and she's a godless heathen. Let's go to work. Did you read those research reports? Eh, just hit me on the fly. Is Bluetooth on? Line one, your air only. Copy. Hey, what happened to the boy in the chair? I'll Google him now. OK, sis, hmm. let's make it rain. I'm gonna show you the light. Good evening, believers. Are you ready for a miracle? Yeah. Are you ready for wonders? Yeah. Then you, my friends, have come to the right place tonight. Because tonight, we leave this world of sorrow and sin and turn and stand and shine the darkness and that's right people now I know times are tough all over but don't it seem like they're tougher still here in Sweetwater now I won't lie to you but some of the folks in my own choir warned me that this town is suffering from the drought. Mm -hmm. That is beyond hope, beyond salvation. Beyond. Some of them say we should drive on by, drive on by to the big city of Topeka. Uh -huh. yeah. Topeka, Topeka, Topeka. 
Those fancy people in their fancy cars. And their fancy arrest warrants. That's right. But I said, hold on. Hold on. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. If anyone needs a revival, uh, can't afford a revival, deserves a revival. Amen. Yeah. It's the good people of Sweetwater. Oh, yes, and now I promise you, we will be here for the next three nights to walk with you, to help you move towards the light, the light of joy. joy. The light of truth. Joy. The light of love. Joy. So if you want us to take you. To take Take you to heaven's gates. All you gotta do, all you gotta do, all you gotta do, stand and turn and lift your face and step into the light. Leave the gloom and darkness behind you. And with every stride, cast aside your fears and doubts and dismays. Something amazing is happening right now. Salvation is starting, gonna show you the light. Praise Him. The Lord's Holy Juice is just a pumping, a pumping, a pumping in my veins. Storm clouds be parting, gonna show you the light. But before I can do the Lord's work, He needs a sign of your faith. Just touch your heart and your soul will ignite. Angels, take it down. The Lord needs a token that shows the love in your heart. Oh, Jesus! I know times are tough. Hallelujah. I feel a miracle is coming on. All right, row B, seat three, daughter off her meds. Oh, sister, it's your daughter. You're worried your sweet girl is falling off her path and slipping back into the darkness. Yes, I well, trust the Lord. Show her love and he will light her way. Hallelujah. Who is next? Uh, sister, sister, is there someone in here by the name of uh, Suzanne? No. No, Susie. Susie, I can feel you. Oh. Sister, it's your lamb. Your crops are dying. Your well has run dry. That's right. If it don't rain, I... Stop right there, Susie. I want you to stop worrying about the rain. I want you to start believing the power of the Lord. I want everyone in this tent to do the same thing. If we all show him a sign that we are listening, he will hear us. Do you believe me, Susie? I do, I do believe. Then show him. Droughts do not last forever, but salvation does. Hallelujah. Who is next? Step away from the bottle. Oh, oh, be cured of your gambling. Really? Stop sleeping around and you will sleep at night. You want a job? A wife? A life, a break, then give to the Lord and you shall receive. Skip the kids till we know more. Hit the old lady, 10 o'clock. She's in our chair. Can I have some quiet for our sister here? Step into the light. Welcome, ma'am. What's your name? Emma Schlarp. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> well, God bless you, Emma. How long has it been since you last uh, walked? About 20 minutes. Walk? What do you mean? Oh, too by... long to remember. Oh. Amen. Oh. Well, Emma, God is going to make you a miracle tonight. Lord, send your light through my hand and slay the shadows that imprison him in his body. Emma, let his radiance lift you up and step. Step. Come on, Emma. You can do it. Come on, Emma. Follow my hand, Emma. Follow the light. Follow the Lord's radiance. Keep stepping. Come on, Emma. Keep coming. Keep walking. Keep walking, Emma. Come on, Emma. Keep going a little more, a little more. Give me a hug. Oh, thank you, Emma. Carl, if you could escort Emma out of the tent. It's a miracle. Thank you, Jesus. Ah. Are you two enjoying tonight's performance? Move on, 
All right. Well, I'll take that as a yes. Well, I hope to see both of you back here tomorrow night for the second glorious night of our revival. Thank you for coming tonight, sir. Thank you for coming tonight, little lady. Thank you. Thank you. You too. I want to see both of you back in these exact same seats tomorrow night for the second glorious night of our revival. Thank you for coming tonight, man. Thank you. Thank all three of you for coming tonight. Bring the rest of your family. I can tell there's more. Thank you for coming tonight. Thank you for coming tonight, sir. I hope you enjoyed the performance. Be generous of your spirits. Thank you all for coming tonight. Anything is possible. Thank you for coming tonight, sir. Sir, I want to thank you for coming to the World Bible tonight. Thank you. I will see you here tomorrow night. Mama! Isaiah! What are you doing here? Well, Bible College is on break, and Ornella texted me about Sweetwater. And here you are! <laughs> are you hungry? No, Mama. Isaiah, I'm are fine, you Mama. sure I that you want hungry? I can Mama, make you I'm something. Fine, Isaiah. Out of May! Isaiah, this is the Reverend Jonas Nightingale. And this must be the prodigal son. It's nice to meet you, sir. I enjoyed your performance tonight. Did you? Well, I am nothing without your mother. Mm. Well, neither am I. Well, I'll let you two catch up. Stay as long as you'd like. Your family. Ida May, why don't you ask Jonas to let your son preach tonight? Oh, uh. no, thank you. I'm not into all this showbiz. I'm more old school. Mm. Got that from his daddy. <laughs> yes, I did. Daddy was strong and pure and proud And he walked next to God unafraid Daddy went forth with head unbowed Never stumbled, stopped or strayed Though he no longer walks beside us Still his footprints are here to guide us Daddy is what I hope to be And his path will be my path to Every step, every day, every inch of the way I'll be walking like Daddy would do Adam May, I've got some loose ends I need to tie up. Rosa, can you help him find a sister? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Adam May, how did we do last night? $216 and a five cents. Who gave the nickel? Everybody. <laughs> it's barely enough for tomorrow's food. I don't know how much longer I can hold the angels off once they hear tonight's take. They're not gonna hear tonight's take. In fact, nobody will, not even your daughter. If anybody asks, there were some um, uh, big checks in the baskets. And they just will uh, take a little while to clear. I hear you. Yeah. Hey, Adam A. Jonas will come through. I know. He always does. Yeah. The thing about lying is, it's so much easier than telling the truth. Am I right? I mean, lie to her children, they'll think they don't need to know. Lie to her angels, it's just a way to keep its spirits up. And Sam, huh, well, they're lying to each other and themselves, so that's basically a wash. You think you went your whole day without telling a lie? You're lying. You know where you've been, you know where you're at, you know how to get where you're going to. And you step on the gas, you open the clutch, no time for anything that's slowing you. Here you cut a corner here, you break a rule there, you run around, look around, suddenly you find yourself lost. Lost. 
How'd we do? <laughs> well, we uh, set a record. Really? That bad? You know what would really help? What? If you could make it rain. I'll make some calls. <laughs> Just you wait. Our biggest score yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, Sam, hmm. get some beauty rest. You need it. You try shifting gears, try doubling back. You don't know how you got yourself all spun around. Spun around. But onwards you go down streets you don't know. So once again, you give yourself the run around. You jump a curve here, jump a curve. you run a line there. Ignore the signs, mm -hmm. the paint lines, mm -hmm. and tag yourself mm -hmm. you're anything mm -hmm. but stronger today. Every day you're getting better, you know that? Uh-huh. Mom, I saw the revival tonight. There was an old lady in a wheelchair. That preacher, he made her walk. Jake, sometimes those preachers... He's not like the others. He's a healer, Mama. I can feel it. Did you try to get him to leave town? Who told you that? Everyone. He's got a bad reputation, Jake. I don't want him getting your hopes up. I don't get it. You're the one who keeps telling me to get my hopes up. I'm going to walk, Mom. Of course you are, Jake. Of course you are. You drive in the dark, turn circles around, and wonder exactly how you landed here. But there's no turning back, no off-ramp ahead. Can't hit the brakes and maybe you'll be scared. Ornella. Well, look at you, little brother, alive and in the flesh. I've been praying for you, you know. Yeah, of course you have. And you know what? Maybe it worked. I have completely turned it around. No more partying and no more bad men. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, how well do you really know this, uh, this preacher? Oh, I see. You've been here for two hours? And you know him better than I do. I mean, I finally found a community and now it can't be worthwhile. I didn't say that. Well, you that. might as well have. What is going on here? Nothing, Mama. I'm worried about you. And I'm worried about Ornella, too. How well do you really know this, this, this carnival barker? His name is Reverend Nightingale. He's not who you think he is, Mama. I don't want to hear this. Go to bed. It's because you know I'm right. Isaiah, you don't even know him. What I do know is that she's lost, and you, oh, you've always been. Lost, maybe I'm lost. Maybe I've jumped the rails, left the track, ignored the cost, and ended up where we all end up lost. Listen, we lost. Somehow the lights get crossed, the map gets tossed, but there's a constant. It's a dry county. Of course it is. It's quite a show you put on. Thank you. What'd you make, 500? Couldn't tell you. Well, I have something for you. For me? Thousand dollar fine. Doubles tomorrow if you go on. Thanks. I'll pray for you. Mm hmm something else you should know? That boy in the front row? Oh, you mean the crippled kid? He's my son, Jake. Oh. And he's a person with a disability. Not handicapped, not crippled, disabled for life. I'm so sorry. Save it. I had no... The last thing my son needs is some con artist promising he can walk. I would never do that. I don't make false promises. Really? Well, I try not to. Too risky. All I really do is let people know that they've been heard, that they're not alone. I try and give them a little hope. Mm -hmm. Is that before or after you take all their money? Oh, well, before always. Sometimes after. And you might think I'm taking advantage of them, but trust me on this. 
I always leave them wanting more. <laughs> Seriously? Does that line ever work for you? I got others. I can't believe you're hitting on me. I thought we both felt a spark. I'm never wrong. Never? You want to bet? You want a drink? I'll tell you what. I'm right. You drink. Hit me. I bet you think you're pretty tough. I'm sure you are, but not enough. So you're the type of girl who likes to flirt with danger. That's it? You haven't had a date in years. The locals leave you bored to tears. So you'd be tempted by a charming, handsome stranger. Oh, please. It would help a ton if he's gone by Monday, I reckon. So it's clean and done before anyone has to know. Told you so. See, I can read you like an open book. And honey, chapter one looks dynamite. Yes, I can read you with a single look. And forgive me if I'm staring, but you clearly can't help sharing. Cause darling, it's all there in black and white. Few lucky guesses. My turn. You're out of your league. Here, hope you can hold your liquor. Bet you think you're pretty slick. A tapu doesn't miss a trick. And I can see you've got your act down to the letter Compliments don't count And all your charming goodness, yes Not half as much though as you guess And plenty enough to fool the folks who don't know better Cheers And in every town all the girls lay down when you beckon So you get a hug when there's one who's got any fight Damn right Yeah, yeah I, I can, can read, read you like an open book The kind that I put down by chapter two Oh, uh, honey, I can read you every single nook. And hell, you seem like a bestseller. Here's the tale, if not the teller. But honey, even Helen Keller could see through you. Okay, well, it's my turn now. I'm quaking in fear. Spend your days in the heat and haze and sleepwalk through the town. You watch it turn to dust and blow away. You talk to folks, maybe tell some jokes. You smile when they seem down and swear the rain will be here any day. But late at night in the failing light, you're tired to your soul and everything inside comes bursting through. Still you keep it hid so your poor sweet kid won't see you lose control and pretend that you're just fine. And hope to God it's true Too much I can take it Can you? I think you read folks like you do To keep the world from reading you It's hard to hit a target that keeps moving See, I don't know the life you've had But someone somewhere hurt you bad and you don't want that wound to start improving. So you come on hard and won't drop your guard for a second. And you pick apart everybody's heart so your own can stay unknown. Can we stop now? See, I can read you like an open book. Pretty much like me down at the core. Oh, I can read you. Yes, I can read you. Let's turn the page and read a little Just so we're clear, you're gone by Monday. No one ever needs to know. Does anybody here believe in a God? Okay, we got some out-of-towners. I don't mean that new age mumbo jumbo, I mean like a living God. One that you pray to at night, one that can make it rain or make you walk. Never mind. I know what you're thinking. Miracles, honestly, 
We all know they're nothing really Fairy tales make believe like magic Sleight of hand, trickery Might as well admit it freely Miracles laughable like magic All they are is wishful thinking simply An illusion, just a lie we tell to help us through but if they were real, think how it would feel. Miracles happening like magic coming true. Hey, Jake. How did you know my name? It just uh, popped in my head. Are you a magician? I'm pretty terrible. Well, keep practicing. It takes time. It's just tricks, not like what you do. I'll be at the revival tomorrow. Do you think Saturday they... night? That's a late show. You better ask your mom. My mom? No thanks. She hates you. Think so? She's afraid you're a con, that you'll get my hopes up. Now you always listen to your mama. See right there. I know you're not a con. Or maybe that's exactly what a con would say if someone asked him if he was a con. Can I show you something? You know my tricks? When I was your age, I wanted to be a magician. What happened? Eh, what you want as a kid, what you get as an adult. Tell me about it. But if you're going to try and do magic, you have to keep practicing your sleight of hand over and over until you get so good, until it feels so natural, even you believe it's real. You did that? Kid, I was so good, I made myself disappear. Miracles, that's their charm. Everybody thinks they need one shining out, bright and clear like magic. Words, Go ahead, wave your arm, show me ask and you are you guaranteed it. one. Just like that, they, they appear like magic. magic. Call it luck or fate or fortune. Draw your own conclusion. A sign from you know who Maybe Once the, the door's, doors ajar Look and there they are Miracles Everywhere Like magic Just for you Now go on Get to bed, kid This was all gonna be easier when I thought you were a jerk. You got me wrong. I am a jerk. Now Marla, I promise we won't use Jake on stage. I give you my word. Okay. The Jonas he once was may have disappeared, but it looks like he found him again in Jake. Whether it was a miracle, fate, or even a touch of magic, Jonas had found himself with a decision that now carries both him and Jake down that same crossroads. Jonas. Oh, hello, sunshine. <laughs> I found out about your cripple. Really? What about him? Turns out he's your sheriff's son. No kidding. Yeah, that's crazy. Sad story. Kid got hurt in a car crash that killed her husband. Local nurse told me Marla spent a fortune on treatments. Doctors, chiropractors, psychiatrists. A bunch of con artists. Doesn't matter. When we put him on stage tomorrow. He's not going on that stage. What are you talking about? He was practically leaping out of his wheelchair last night. You said it yourself. His mother is the sheriff. We don't need to Oh, lose. that was fast. What? Gee, I suppose I should have guessed. Sam. No, I'll admit it. I'm impressed. Hey, did you get to use her handcuffs? Come on, tell me. Well, it's not like you not to collect on a bet. It's not at all like that, okay? Yeah, right. It's not your business either way. Oh, please, is if I'd buy whatever crap you try to sell me. Do you hear yourself? Could you sound more jealous? Hey, I'm not jealous, I'm angry. Since when do you let a piece of strange run our show? Sam, just let it go. No, I can read you, you like an open, open book. book. There ain't no way to hide a single line You know it, I can read you You 
you ain't off the hook. As for the kid... Yeah? What about him? He would be useful. Sure. Who'd doubt him? So? Trust me. We'll take this town without him. Jonas? Trust me. You start caring about too many people and our whole thing goes straight to hell. Listen up, folks. It's night two. You know the drill. If somebody wants a miracle, they're gonna have to show a little faith tonight, come back tomorrow. Get them aroused, but don't give it up. Aroused. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't let me stop you. <laughs> I didn't get this kind of training in Bible college. It's just girl talk, Isaiah. Is that a problem for you? I do have a problem, mm. and I bet I'm not the only one. Isn't that right, angels? Isaiah, do not start preaching to the choir. Listen, Ornella, I know how hard it's been for you, but that does not make it right to take, take? from others. We don't come to take, we come to give. And if people are moved Stop. enough, that's their right. That's a lie, Ornella. Jonas Nightingale, this revival, you are not spreading the word of the Lord. You are part of a righteous con. Just take a look at this man you follow. Look at the show you put on. And are hard to swallow Yet you don't see where you've gone I know you think you're walking with Jesus, girl Parading down the path of the Lord You are stepping pretty sweet on your fancy feet But you ain't got a clue what you're heading toward You're dancing, dancing in the devil's shoes Trampling on the Lord's taboos Kicking up a mess of blues souls are yours to lose, and soon you're gonna have to choose, so choose, keep prancing, or step it on back to the Lord. Now don't y'all pay my brother no more. I'm only telling them what they know is true, I mean look at you Ornella. <sighs> Me? Just what would daddy say? Who cares? And you think I've lost my way? <laughs> Just take a look at the line you're reaching, look how you're putting on Let's face it, nobody cares. You think you're really walking with Jesus, bro? So I show you not a carpet of prayer. Well, whatever's up your butt, it sure makes you strut. But brother, it ain't Jesus who put it there. You're dancing, dancing in the devil's shoes, tripping on an ego cruise, minding people's peace and cues. Your way. Just think about what I'm saying when you're working that revival. Tonight. That is enough, Isaiah. These people here are good to me, and I need you to show them some respect. Can you do that for me? Well, I can show them some respect, Mama, but what about the people that are coming tonight? Who's respecting them? You need a new step. Keep dancing. You ought to try a new step. Keep dancing. Why can't you try a new step? Keep dancing. Try a new step. Keep dancing. No, keep your hands and clapping. Keep Get dancing. up on your feet. Nothing's gonna happen keep if you're dancing. sitting in your seat. You keep your step. toes tapping. Get buried in the beat. Walk you through your tapping. Jesus. Thank you, angels. Hasn't the Lord been singing through them on this, our second glorious night in Sweetwater? You good, good people. You've already been so generous with your time and offerings. But if you want the rain to come, and I know all of you do, you've got to start giving your faith to the Lord. Isn't that right, angels? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And now, 
Before we get on home, I'm wondering if I can ease one last burden. Pick me, pick me, my Pick the boy, Jonas. Come on, the boy. Oh, yes, you. In the blue. Jonas, she's Come on down the aisle. Welcome, ma'am. What's your name? Her house is in foreclosure. Amanda Wang. Leave the widow alone. Come on, Jonas. Well, God bless you, Amanda. How can I serve you? Uh, I have a question about my husband. He's... He's passed. Oh, shh, shh, shh. He was the love of your life, wasn't he? Herbert, husband's name's Herbert. Yes, he was. But I can feel... Hubert. No. No, Herbert, yes. Yes, that's him. Oh, well, praise the Lord. He wants me to let you know that he is in heaven now. And he wants me to show you the love that he has for you in his heart. Can you feel that? Yes, yes, I can. And he wants me to tell you to, to, to stop, stop mourning. What? To, to stop mourning his loss and to walk away. Walk away from what? To, to walk away from the financial burden of your home. Does that make sense to you, Amanda? Uh, uh yes, but are you sure? As sure as I am of your love for each other. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no. Let it all out. Um, uh, uh, I don't have anything to give. That's Told all right, to Amanda. Get the kid. You've given enough. Thank you. Come on, Joe. Wait, wait, come back. Uh, I have my ring. You son of a blood from a stone. Are you sure about this? That is your wedding ring, Amanda. I don't need it. Like you said, I have his love in my heart. Well, God bless you. Miracles happen every day. All you gotta do is ask. All right, come on, Joyce. Hey, boy, give the folks a reason to come back tomorrow night. Pick me, Jonas, I can feel the Lord about to shower you all with love. Jonas. I can feel the heavens about to make it rain. Can you show me how bad you want that rain? Come on, show me. Show me how bad you want it. What's your prayer, son? Jake, we're going home. No, Mom, no. Jake, now. I want to walk. Jonas knows he can't promise that. Let Isn't him heal that me right, first. Reverend? Let him heal me first. I don't heal, son. I ask the Lord to Come do Come on, it. Jonas. I've seen you do it. Marla, give the kid a chance. No! He can't. Tell them. I'm not so sure what you want me to say. You're not. Not really. Jonas! If you have something to say, say it, sister. Let she who is without sin cast the first stone. Mm -hmm. How y'all folks doing tonight? Yeah. We having a good time? Yeah. Seeing miracles right before our eyes? Yeah. Well, let me tell you the truth about Reverend Jonas Nightingale. First of all, it's not even his real name. It's an alias. What? what? Uh. You want to know why he uses it? Because he's a wanted con man. I thought you were a man of God. His real name is Jack Newton. The only reason he stopped here in Sweetwater is because there's a warrant out on him in Topeka. Shame on road. you. He's banned for life in Salinas and Santa Fe. And it's all true, isn't it, Jack? No, it is not. That ain't even the half of it. Brothers and sisters, your sheriff is right when she warns you to beware. Where are you going now, Jonas? In fact, my past is far more disturbing than you can imagine. I have robbed. I have conned. I have cheated. I have duped and defrauded and stole. I've lusted and lied and the evil inside of my soul. Oh, yeah. I have hurt and betrayed and mistreated. I've suckered and swindled and scammed. I've done so much deceiving, I've scandalized even the damned. Yes, indeed, but like it or not, I'm exactly what you need. I've run down the highway to ruin, fallen far from Lucifer fell. Spit my life waiting to party with Satan in hell. Yes, sir. And whatever misdeeds you've been doing, whatever your conscience conceals, I ain't judging you, bro. I'm just saying, I know how it feels. So if you think you've strayed, you're only a beginner. If you think you're cursed, you still ain't truly been. And
And if you think you're doomed, just look at me, you sinner. I am the king of sin. No, I ain't up here bragging. My life is a disgrace. Lying in my bed one night, I saw the good Lord's face. I cringed beneath the covers, sure the Lord would strike me dead. Let me tell you what our Savior said. He said, Jack Newton, I wipe away your shame. I pardon all your sins, but in return, I take your name. Go forth from here and be reborn as Jonas, leading my prophets and Nightingale. He who sings, tell all your fellow sinners the forgiveness Jesus brings. And then my life was clear as clear could be. I understood why God had called on me. I'm the lowest of all the lowly. The best of all the bad. My criminal record is so freaking checkered, it's plaid. Oh yeah. But if I turn from hellbound to holy, if I turn from the wrong to the right, who better I say to show others the way to the light? So if you've lost that life, I'll help make you a winner. If you're down and out, I'll point you up and in. And if you need some proof, just look at me, you sinner. I am the king. I am the king, I am the king of sin. He puts on a good show, I'll give him that. But before you give him your hard-earned money, ask yourself where it goes. Now you judge me falsely, Sister Marla. Mm -hmm. This isn't about making money, oh no. There's far easier ways to do that. This is about saving souls, eternal life. Yeah about which side of the ledger you will be on when the judgment day comes. If you think that I can't lead you from damnation, or you think that I'm a fraud who don't know Jack, well, this money here won't buy you your salvation. So take it back, so take it back. Take every penny of your doubt money back. prayer for you. No, he doesn't. Yes, I do. Can you heal me, Reverend? Can you do that? I believe, Reverend. I know you do, son. And the Stop Lord knows it, too. now. Help I'm me, warning Lord. you. I can't help that Jake wants to Yes, walk. you can. No, Those son. People, they have nothing. With power he from the Lord, understand. he will He's, be able to he walk. He doesn't get it. I promise he you that. Jake! Jake, you Leave okay? You okay? He's okay. He's okay. Now, now this boy's faith, it is pure, but he cannot do this alone. So I'm gonna go home tonight. I'm gonna pray all night for the Lord to heal oh his no, wounds. Oh no, you're done. I'm gonna ask each and every one Don't of you to come you're back tomorrow rest. night and pray for the Lord to heal his wounds. Because I know it's You have the right to remain silent. But I will not be silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. Now I promise each and every one of you, if this tent is filled tomorrow night, you will see a miracle. Miracle.
vendo, né? I just carry it with me everywhere I go. Hey, you want to play? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you need a drummer, it's real easy. So, or, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Just, just keep the tempo. <laughs>
Jesus, since years we've been climbing your mountain, but it seems such a long way to go. Lord, it's been years far too many for counting, now we're almost atop that plateau. Rise up! Thank you, angels. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jonas's angels. Now what you saw before in a mission, I know it wasn't pretty, but Jonas did what he had to do. He made what we call the promise. 
the pledge of a miracle so big that folks who know they're being conned can't help but come to third night. And here's the beauty part. Even if they don't get their miracle, it's their fault. They didn't have enough uh, faith. Hey, Jonas, Jonas. Uh, Jake, you okay? Yeah, don't worry about me. I fall all the time. It's kind of like a hobby. What's going on out there? The town's holding a vigil for you. If my mom doesn't let them post your bail, they're going to bust you out. They want to see you walk. I think you're the one that they want to see walk. Oh, they're past that. They think for your third night, you're going to make it rain. Oh. Jake, what are you doing here? Uh, just visiting the holy prisoner. I told you to stay away from him. Why are you fault, so Lara. mad at him? What did he ever do to you? Go on home. Do as I say. Please, Mom. Now. Wow. Jailing someone after you fall for him. I thought I had commitment issues. This isn't about that. Step back. I should thank you. By you arresting me, you guaranteed me a big house for tonight. Step out. I can stay. Nice try. Step out. The townspeople posted your bail. Sign these. Do us both a favor. Keep the kid home tonight. How can I do that? If I make Jake stay home, he'll never forgive me. And if he goes tonight, you'll use him. He knows I just do tricks up there. No. He thinks you're a healer. He puts his faith in you. Marla, look. You know the last thing I wanted to do was hurt him or you. Me? Don't worry about me. Why not? I'm serious. You're trying to save Jake, trying to save Sweetwater? Heck, seems like you're trying to save me. That would be a lost cause. She kind of makes me your type. Does anyone ever take care of you? Don't. Or ask about you? Stop. It's not in the cards. I used to think it was, but that was a long time ago. When I was just a kid, more than a bit naive, I knew dreams could come true, especially if you believe. Wished on a million stars, prayed till my knees were red. I ain't lying awake in my bed, but now I'm My hopes a notch wasn't too hard to do. Life, love, big dreams, and small, somehow they all fell through. Wished on one last star, shimmering way up high. But that too was just a beautiful lie. And now I'm They're just gonna melt away. Well, that was our deal, wasn't it? Yes. Yes, it was. How long has it been since the accident? I don't know. Two years, nine months, and eight days. You've mourned enough. No one in the town will think you haven't. I don't... 
care what they think. And Jake, he's okay with it. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about a lucky man. A real lucky man. You're ready. And you're free to go. But when he comes along, little tip. Try not to arrest him. You see, I'm long past dreaming, long past hurting, long past certain that I know the score. So all I'm asking is a reason, one good reason I should dream once more. That's worth dreaming for. Man, talk about shiny bait. Those people are hooked. Isaiah's right. We crossed a line. We're getting them into the tents, aren't we? Your own brother says Jonas is a false prophet. I'm gonna sing tonight, but very quietly. You know what? Where would any of you be without Jonas? On the streets? Mm. In rehab? Mm. And anyway, you knew the deal when you signed on. So make up your mind. Are you on the bus? Bus. Baby, what's he gonna be? Better not, Jonas. Zach says everyone within 50 miles is coming. So that means we're gonna pull out all the stops, including the boy, right? Sam? Hey, whatever it takes. Are you one of them or one of us? Time to choose your day. I never thought I'd say this, but why can't you be more like your sister? Go out, drink, have some fun. What you're doing is wrong, Mama. I'm just taking care of my family. Both of my families. Can't right till you decide. No one climbs aboard for free. So if you're on the bus, get on. But if you ain't coming, baby, don't wait up for me. We don't need to use the kid. He's just a roper. We'll have a full house. See this right here? This is what happens when you let little Jonas do the thinking for you. It's not about mm. Jake's been through enough. His dad died when he was oh, 10. He's... I get it. What? How old were you when our deadbeat father died? Don't dime store shrink me. Fine, they're civilians, Jonas. You either rip them off or you get a new career. You can't have it both ways. Life is a highway and traffic moves fast. Some people are at it, some watch it roll past. Those on the roadside, they swiftly fade out of you. Which I thought you knew. Are you on the bus or off the bus? Time to set the record straight. You plan to meet your fate You know there's miles to go We're already running late So, if you're on the bus, get on the bus And if you ain't coming, brother, I ain't gone away I just thank God that daddy's not here to oh, see this no, 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 don't you talk to me about your daddy Your daddy was a cold man And he never touched a single soul I had to clean houses for 20 years to support his empty church. Is that the kind of man that you want to be? Life is a through way to God's own address. Some take it local and some go express. Those in the slow lane just watch the others pass through. Baby, how about you? Are you on the bus or off the bus? Tell me, do you even know? to let your colors show this town looks strange no doubt gets you way ahead in the so if you're on the bus
don't want you talking to my angels. Why? Because they've been listening. It's got to stop, Isaiah. This is my tent, so make up your mind. Are you on the bus or off the bus? I could ask the same of you. Are you one of them? Are you one of us? Kid, you better think this through. My daddy, he strode down heaven's road. Me, I plan on walking too. So if you're on your bus, get on your bus. Oh, mister, we ain't coming. We got better things to do. Do you think you've got what it takes to shut us down? Souls are at stake, Nightingale. I'll do what I have to. Then you better give it your best shot. Because if you fail, you're on the street, and your sister and your mama are with you. Ma'am, I'd like to talk to you about an arrest you made last night. Save your breath, your man's already out on bail. Well, he shouldn't be. That's why I'm here. How's that? You see, he's a charlatan. And if you're going to arrest him, make sure you put him away. What you got there? The company books. Both sets of them. Proof of embezzlement and tax fraud. You mean federal charges? He gave me his word he'd be out of town after tonight. Oh, he will. But there will be nothing left of your town when he does. See, they call tonight the blow-off. And they're going to use your son to take this town for all it's worth. It says all that in his tax records? <laughs> no. It says that here in their Sweetwater file. <laughs> Profiles on everyone in town. The widow, the farmer with the dry well. Oh. Even profiles on you and your son. <laughs> Maybe I should just keep those. No, out. let me see everything you have. I will. On one condition. His bookkeeper and the choir, they walk. Oh. You his bookkeeper? No. My mama is, and she's a good woman. He's just a very persuasive man. You're right on that. So do we have a deal? Hey, Rev. Free at last? I'm invisible, kid. Go away. I just want to talk to you. About tonight? There's not going to be a tonight. Not for you. You sound like my mom, which doesn't even sound good on her. You're staying home, kid. No, no friggin' way! Kid, listen. People come to the tent. They get all worked up. They believe that they can see or walk or talk or whatever. But it's all up here. Once the adrenaline rush stops, they're back in their wheelchairs. Or no, they can't. See, my faith is strong enough. Miracles. Here's the thing. I know they can happen to me. What we do, it's all for show. It's God's will. It's a con. Go ahead, say the words. Jake, stop. Make it all come rushing through me. Kid, Finally, please. miracles. Don't say it's just a sleight of hand. Don't say it's just illusion. Wave your arms and do that thing you do. Jake. I know how I feel. I know you're for real. Kid, please. You think I don't know what you feel? When I was your age, I begged for a miracle too. Nothing happened. Nobody's watching. That car accident with your dad, nobody watched that either. It just happened. No, it's my fault. What? I was messing around with a baseball. I dropped it. And what if it rolled under the brake pedal? What if that's why we couldn't stop? Maybe I'm the reason my dad died. Oh, kid, you can't think that. Please, don't tell anyone. Jake, there are no miracles. There's no reason that things that's just- That's not true. Your bus broke down for a reason. God sent you. Wrong. 
My bus broke down because I don't maintain it. I use it up like I use everything else up in my life. I don't believe a word you say. Good, because I'm a bad man. I take people's money and I don't heal them. And I can't heal you. I don't care what you say. I believe in you. Well, get over it. Stay away from my tent. So I guess I was wrong about you. You Ex really are a fake. Excuse me? I read your scatter report on me. What are you even talking about? Come on, Jonas. We got rehearsal. No, you don't. You're done. My boy, I can't keep him away from you tonight. And if he goes, you'll use him. <laughs> that is not You can't me. help yourself. And you, you're so far gone you don't even want to. Mm. Fold your tent tonight or I'll make sure you fold for good. Oh, really? Someone in your choir had a restless night. Dropped off your... Isaiah? Duh. And your Sweetwater Town research. <laughs> I don't ever read those. I swear. Marla, if this is about us... Us? <laughs> don't flatter yourself. You may think you're slick, but I won't think twice we're bringing the two of you down. Oh, leave my sister out of this. She's in deeper than you are. She signs the tax return. And I said leave her out. Easy, Jonas. You don't want to do this. You guys go on tonight. The next place you'll be performing is a federal penitentiary. <laughs> You want to shut us down? Go ahead. Try it. Jonas, it's okay. Oh, hell no. You want to put us in jail? Do it. I'll make sure Jake never looks at you the same way again. He doesn't mean what he's saying. When he feels cornered, he, um, makes threats. Charming. He wasn't lying about those reports. He never reads them. Then whose idea was it to put my boy in the front row? Jake's. And mine, but not Jonas. Jonas has been fighting me every step of the way. You really messed with his head. Me. For some reason, you're screwing up his mojo. Will you tell him if he tries to heal my son tomorrow, I'm bringing him down. Look, Jonas and me, we watch out for each other. We always have. Daddy settled down near some hillbilly town, God knows where, Tennessee. Built himself a church out of clapboard and birch and my brother and me. Every single day we would kneel in the dirt for him. Every single day or he'd hit till we hurt for him. Right until the day the good Lord gave him cancer. Amen. I was five, Jonas ten. Daddy didn't need no damn pills. He decreed if our faith would be strong. And so every day, spitting blood, he would say we were doing it wrong. Every day we'd pray, but our prayers weren't strong enough. Every day we'd sing, but too soft or not long enough. Till the day he crawled to the grave that we dug him. And I that's the first time I cried. But my brother, he said as he sat on the bed by my side. Sorry, but that's no excuse. I know, but I see you when you think that your boy's threatened. That's totally different. Is it? With his daddy gone, we just keep keeping on, holding fast, clinging tight. All we have is each other, that's all. People come and go. You can't trust in them though, and they fade out. Has never this world is us. too hard. And through all the years, life has never been like that. Through all the years, and still nothing's divided us. Yeah, not yet. But we never forget. No, we never forget. People like us are different. People like us survive. We've always known we're in this alone. Oh my 
that's what we do. And that's what we do. People like us. People like us. People like me. People like me. Why is it so hard to drop our guard, to take care of each other, to have faith in our future instead of our fears? I know you know what I'm talking about. Why are you so afraid to let yourself hope, to let yourself love? Why are we? Why is Jonas so afraid to take that leap, to believe in a power greater than himself, to believe in someone larger out there? Chance. Son, tell me you decided to stay. No, ma'am. Come tomorrow, I'm gonna be on a Greyhound out of here, and I pray you're coming with me. Last chance. I'm 13, Mom. I'm not a baby anymore. I know, Jake. It's just. What's the worst that could happen? I end up in this chair. Jake! I've been hard on Marla, but I get what you see in her. Marla, come on, Sam. Strange is a strange judge. She's just another rest stop on the highway. Gotta hand it to you. This ain't a room only out there. How you gonna play it? I'm like a locust plague. Hmm. I'm gonna bleed them dry. If they wanna see a miracle, they're gonna have to pay. That kid's gonna fall again. You know the drill? That's on them, their lack of faith. That's Let's make it rain. Hello, sinners. Are you ready for a miracle? Salvation. There's a train coming to the station, and it's your last chance. Last chance. Salvation. Salvation. But the train won't wait forever, folks. If you're coming, get on board. Come to buy your one-way ticket to the Lord. So you think God hands out miracles like candy? No, no. Let me hit you with a slice of breaking news. Oh, you can get an easy fix, or the kind that really sticks. But the catch is that you're gonna have to choose. So you want good luck, good love, good lives, good weather. Good weather. Well, you can't get all that goodness for your cops. Oh, no, no. And you'll never see that stuff if your faith ain't strong enough. Put your money where your mouth is or get lost You're, You're looking, looking at, at your last chance, chance. Salvation. Salvation. Salvation Now I know you want to show your faith in Jesus. Jesus Better do it now before the moment's gone You want God to fill your cup Well dig deep in any up Cause I think I feel a healing coming on do you hear it? It's God's holy thunder. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know how it. desperately everyone in this town wants the rain to come. We want it. How want bad do you want it? Yeah. Yeah. Ask for it. Right. Ask yeah. for it. And you shall receive. But you gotta show the Lord Almighty how much you believe. This is your last chance. Way to get better buy a one-way one ticket. Who wants a one-way ticket to the Lord? Taylor would come on stage. Look who it is, Sweetwater. I have faith in you, Jonas. I know what you can do. 
So do I. And look who else it is, Sweetwater. Sheriff Marla has come to arrest me again. Isn't that right? Oh, I could. You and your sister, I have all the evidence I need. Both sets of books. Baby, you did it! Mama, I had to. No, Mom, don't! Listen to your son, Marla. Oh, I hear him. But first, Jake and I, and everyone, I think we want to see one final miracle. Isn't that right? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, please. Okay. Thank you, Marla. Thank you, Sweetwater. Angels. If your faith is strong enough, now we're gonna do everything we can to get this boy to walk. But if there is even one amongst you who doubts, then the Lord's work cannot be done. Do you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe? All right. You with me, people. Now this boy's faith. It is pure, but it's up to us now. Isn't that right, angels? 10 if this doesn't work, it's nothing you did wrong. You know that. I know you're going to heal me, Jonas. I know it. All right. I'm asking each and every one of you to raise your arms and pray. I need you to believe too, Mom. Please. Okay, Jake. That's it. Arms held high. Lord, send your light through my hands and slay the shadows that imprison Jake's body. Come on, Jake. You can walk. All right, come on, keep going. I'm gonna let go, Jake. But keep going. Keep coming. Come. Jake, you're okay. No, don't. Give me up, Jonas. No, Jonas, please pray for me. If your faith is strong enough, if you keep believing long enough, if you sing God's song enough, your faith will set you free. Your faith will set you free. Your faith will set you free. Oh my God. It's some kind of scam, isn't it? It was all just too pat, wasn't it? It's that kid and his mother in cahoots with one another. Sure, it's gotta be that, doesn't it? What's the game? Well, who knows? Should have seen it, I suppose. Well, they worked me and they played me. Can't believe they nearly swayed me. Or it might be a fluke, mightn't it? Could be all in his head, couldn't it? Something wrong in his attic, psycho, uh, what's the word, somatic? Would explain it instead, wouldn't it? That makes sense, it was odd, all that crap with him and God. And those morons really think they got a miracle. Swear they felt the hand of fate. Anyone can see it's not a miracle. Time to set those suckers straight. No one here but me can make a miracle. I'm the guy who pulls the strings. I say where and when to fake a miracle. Get it, folks? There's no such thing. We're just flesh and bone, aren't we? In this world on our own, aren't we? Fine with me, I've succeeded. I am all I ever needed. And we're better off alone, aren't we? Aren't we? Aren't we? What the hell happened in that?
that tent tonight. Can't be you, you're not real, are you? And you know faith can't heal, don't you? But if good did come through me, don't just stand there, prove it to me, come on, make me a deal, won't you? Wipe the slate, make me new, point the way to something true, do it now, cause I'll never ask again. Give me something to believe in, one damn thing. Go ahead, here I am, bring it on, please. Amen. Where are we on the tent? Almost done. All right, what about the bus? 20 minutes. Make it five. We're waiting on anything else. Just Jonas. He's not here? We thought he was with you. I, I saw him walk off into the field last night. I, I called out to him. Well, what did he say to you? Nothing. He just kept walking. Do you think he'll ever forgive me? Um, For what? Oh, Jonas, you're here. <laughs> you were right all along, Isaiah. Jonas, you okay? Me? Never better. All right, back to work. You know how you always go on about how we need to be a first-class company? Yeah. We made enough last night to get you started. Great. Let's talk about it on the bus. I'm not going on that bus. What are you talking about? I think I'm done, Sam. What do you, what do you mean? It's time. No. No, it's not. Tell me, well, what'll I do when we're out on the road and the money runs low and, and we don't know where to go and you won't be there to make it all be fine? You're in charge now. You'll know. And what'll I do when it all goes to hell and the choir quits and the show falls to bits and I'm left all alone at the end of the line? Put Isaiah in the pulpit. He's a true believer. That may be helpful for a revival. But Jonas. You've been running things for years, you know. You're gonna come up aces. We've always been together though, always me and you. And we'll always be together, Sam, just in different places. We'll pull through just fine, kid. You know we always do. Sweet yams, Jonas. You got another vision? No, I just can't anymore. I'm sorry. It's okay. Sometimes in your life you reach a wall Up you climb, risking all There you stand alone, afraid to fall Till you take that leap of faith Translation fixed, load her up Jonas I owe you an apology. No, you don't. You were right all along, all along. The angels, they're ready to follow you. Me? You're their leader? No. We both know I'm a fraud. No, Reverend. No, you're not. Gates down from that brink and look around. Dark prevails, doubts are found. If you want to land, don't Gotta take that leap of faith. Jonas, you're still here. My mother was afraid you'd leave without saying goodbye. Was she? No. Yes. Well, honestly, I don't know what to think. And that's two of us. But what I do know is I'm out of this game. Jake? It was a pleasure meeting you. 
Take care of your mama. Marla, I gotta get going. Carl? Do you? Carl, why don't you go show Jake how the Bluetooth system works? Okay, Jonas. Come on, Jake. I'm not too sure what's happening or if it's really so. I'm not too sure of anything except that I don't know. I don't know where I'm going or even who to be, but I want to believe in something. I need to believe in something. If I believe in you, will you believe in me? I can't even try to understand where we've been, where we'll land. All that I can give you is my hand. Can you take that leap? I can take that leap. I can take that leap. I spent a year asking myself what happened that night. All I know is Jake walked, the rain came, and that man was given a second chance. Heck, we all were. I want to thank you for joining us for this, our glorious revival's third and final night. If a lost soul like Jonas can get saved, then so can any of you.